Hello! I get tons of comments asking me how I draw or what my process is, so I figured I could make a video on it and see if it would help you guys. Here's a list of the things I use as well. I'll leave links to where I got them in the description too. I'm gonna be drawing Sandstorm just because she's a sassy bitch and she's really cool. So obviously I start out with a super quick and simple sketch. Sometimes it takes me a few tries to get what I want or get it to look right, but that's always fine. Uh, always take your time and experiment with different shapes as well. to my sketch layer and make a new one above the sketch and start either a line art sketch or the line art itself. Sometimes it depends on what I'm making, but normally with a line art sketch you can fully line on later is always much more helpful. Once I finish the line art, I start coloring. How I do this is by selecting the outside of what I want to be colored and invert it. This can help make sure even the smallest bits of pixels are colored. I make a layer under the line art and pick a color from the reference. I normally pick a color that's used the most and use that as my base. After I'm done coloring in the base, I deselect everything and use the protect alpha or otherwise known as alpha lock, to make sure when I color over the base color, none of the lines go outside of it. Once I'm done with that, I sometimes change the color of my line art by using the alpha lock too. This helps make it pop a bit more. Next, I try sketching out a background behind the character and I start on shading. I make a layer above my character after merging the liner and colored parts together and use a dark shade that would work well with what background I'm looking for. I use the multiply and lower the opacity. When I'm done, I blur out some of the shading to give it some depth and then I use the airbrush tool and do the exact same thing I did earlier except and shade in only the places that I need to be just a little bit darker. After I finish the shading, I do my favorite part, lighting. For this, I normally use a clipping mask again and use the color orange and put it where the light spots would be. And I use the overlay filter and lower the shade of the opacity. After the colors seem to look right, I do the same thing, but this time I take a bright shade of yellow and use the add filter to give this some more light. Obviously, I don't always use orange and yellow. Sometimes those colors change depending on the theme or the colors used with whatever I'm making. for the part I hate most, backgrounds. Something I really want to try and learn this year are backgrounds. So that's something I'm still working with. But regardless, I try using colors that fit well with what theme I'm looking for or the colors that I put on the character. A warm feeling would be used with colors like yellow, orange, brown, etc. while a gloomy feeling could use more grayed out colors, something like that. Using brushes and different filters is always a smart way to go especially the hue and tone levels. I barely use those, but they can do wonders and I highly recommend it. Don't be like me who forgets about them. And don't forget to add small details. Those can do a lot and look really cool in the end as well.
And just like that, I'm normally done. I'm not very good at teaching things, and I mumble a lot when I'm talking, but I do hope this helped. I know a lot of people have been asking me for a video like this, so I'm excited to see if it helps any of y'all. I hope y'all have a good day, and remember, experiment, try new things, and practice always makes perfect. Thank you.